Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Probably you've been on the video before. You guys might have seen him yeah. once or twice last year when we went to um, to Ruts, and I showed your bike on video. Yeah, you were there. Don't mind the sticker, that's for my niece. Oh, yeah, that's good. I can't play bad bunny, right? Watch out. Not a bad bunny, not a bad yeah. Baby, I don't want to be a bad guy. Baby, I don't want to be a bad guy. And then you've been over my Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, follow me, MarvelKennedy7, same name as my YouTube. Today, well, this is Peanuts. What's going on, guys? Um, he's going to be helping me, actually show me how to do an oil change, because this will be my first time doing an oil change. You guys know me, I don't come out here trying to pretend like I know everything. I like to learn on the process, and this is something that I've been wanting to learn for a while. Obviously, it's A, know how to work on my bike a bit more. Two, save myself some harder in cash. So he's going to be uh, showing me how to do this today. Um, we're only going to be changing the oil, uh, primary and tranny fluid we're next doing, week. doing next week just because we forgot to get it. Uh, <laughs> that's that. But we got everything we need to do the oil change today, which is going to be pretty cool. So if you want to learn how to change your oil on your road glide, you'll be learning today. Step by step. Anything we should have before, uh, what to have. Honestly, just to make your job easier, you know, make sure you have your five quarts of oil. Um, your necessary tools like the uh, drain plug for the filter and the right tools, the ratchets, the quarter inch ratchet to take out the uh, drain plug. You got to make sure you have your rubber uh, O-rings. Oil pan. Oil pan and that's about it. Pretty much it, right? Pretty simple. You make it sound so easy, man. No, it's not. I'm learning too right now. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's get on to this. Uh, we'll try to do it step by step, obviously. Um, but yeah, exciting. Exciting! Let's get it done. So, first things first, what, what are we doing? We're getting the oil pan, obviously. We're gonna to make it easier, we could put it on a lift, but we could still do it this way, right? Yeah. I mean, the lift always makes everything easier, but... It's pretty basic, so you're just gonna remove the uh, quarter inch. Not holding this in place, let the oil drain, and then I'll put the filter. So we'll go from there, see if I can get under here. What are we taking apart? It, uh, what is it, the, the drain plug? This is the drain plug. Now there's two drain plugs right underneath uh, your bike on the other side. One of them is your uh, primary, the other one is your oil. That's correct. Okay, so what am I looking at here? So this is going to be your oil drain plug. Usually what I do is I loosen it up so I can get it out with my hand. Mm -hmm. um, I'll put the pan under and just let it drip out. This one right here is going to be for your tranny. So always remember the tranny fluid faces down, the oil plug faces forward. And then your primary is going to sit basically right under your primary under here. Yeah, that's the same, same drain plug size. So Okay, cool. So once we loosen this up, we let all the oil drip out on the oil pan? Yep. And then we'll loosen up the oil filter, get out the remaining oil. There it goes. Oozing out. Alright, so that's gonna keep dripping out, right? Yep. So in the meantime, what can we do? We'll loosen up the oil filter, uh, pick up some cool little tools from Harley that help you uh, save the mess from getting oil over your place, all over your motor, and then having to clean it up. So you know, we like to use these um, filter drain plugs over here as well. And then this tool right here, what's it called? It's just a... Um, it's like a socket, socket for the, yeah, yeah, for the filter? Yeah, for the filter, yeah. Okay. And then you already went ahead and uh, you put some oil in the, the new filter that we got? Yeah. Right, so about you a quarter. Usually you want to get about uh, half the oil filter filled with oil before you put it in. I want to make sure this is in place. And that's for what? Just so it could be lubed up? Make it easier? Or? Yeah. Thanks 
for getting some oil on my uh, floor, man. No problem. <laughs> it's a learning experience for me, too. <laughs> um, so with this sometimes, when you pull it out, you'll slide this back a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be careful that it stays under your the drain. Or okay, just so I don't spill over the bike. You wanna straighten your bike out a little bit? See if anything comes out. No, that's good. All right, you good. That's it. Very good, though. Mm -hmm. All right, so what's the next step? You put the, so the next O-ring? You're going to put the O-ring back, which is, you know, given to you from Harley. When you get your uh, oil drain kit, you just put that on. It creates a seal so you don't have any uh, oil coming out. And just put it back in. It's pretty simple. All right, so now we're just going to um, screw the plug back in? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Just hand tighten back on. You know, don't kill me. I don't know all the torque specs for everything. That's yeah, okay. People always ask me. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know yeah, torque I specs. Know. I just. I like to hand tighten everything, and then, you know, I don't kill the bolt. Just enough to close it up. All right. So next step is gonna be to put in the new filter, right? Yeah. So you always wanna put a little bit of oil in here. You know, lube up the. Uh, the rubber gasket on top, and uh, that's pretty much it. You don't want to kill these, and then they'll be impossible to take off later. You want me to do it? You want to do this one? Yeah, I'll do it. I got, I gotta have some fun in here, anyways, man. Good. Whoa, my mom's gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> I changed my own oil. Alright, so hand tighten it. Yeah, hand tighten it. Now, right. You don't want to kill these. Sometimes I'll just put the tool on it, just to give it one last little quarter turn get it all in that's what she said that's it that's it that's it you sure yeah right i mean it's still turning yeah you don't want to you don't want to kill the oil filters they, they don't get as tight as the uh you know the regular nuts and bolts okay you're wow, good. that's pretty easy. So then, what now? Now we just gotta fill it in the oil from the other side. There you go. And that's it? That's it. Damn it, I could've done this one myself without you here, man. I just learned before I got here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, didn't have a funnel, so I had to make my own out of this little uh, little water bottle, but at least it's purified, okay? So, we're gonna put this right here. We already took the plug off, and then what are we doing? We're doing uh, five bottles. So usually what we do is, uh, what I personally do, I put about four. I'll check the oil level. I'll let it run, get hot, check the oil level again, and then I'll add as much as it needs. It's usually five quarts for the road glide. Yeah, five quarts. I think we're gonna do like four and three quarts though, right? Yeah, we'll do that. Just saying, I mean, well, four, yeah, four and, four and three quarters. Just because I don't wanna have everything spilling over, because that's a lot of people do. They'll overfill it, I know that. And then you have everything oozing out. Um, if you're wondering about the oil, this is just Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle oils from your local dealership. Um, and yeah, so am I putting this like slow, taking my time with it? Just take your time, let it fill up. Faster, slower? Do a little faster. That's what she said. Those funnels will not be on sale. This is a personal funnel. <laughs> if you do want to purchase one, let me know if you want a, a, a Marvel Kid funnel. That's, a, that's good. That could be a thing, man. We can start selling funnels. There you go. I need, I need to get more tools in the shop, man. So if anybody knows any tool companies, maybe you guys can sponsor the channel. Send some tools over here, some funnels. We could do four and a half, we'll yeah. let it run. Yeah, let's do four and a half. Because from there, I mean, if anything, we just put like a quarter of this in it. Oh, All right, now that we turned it on, we're gonna see what the stick says. It's 
Swipe it down and then wipe it off, put it back in, and then see um, what the level is at. There you go. Close it up. Now since the motor's high, your oil's obviously going to be thinner. So now you're going to have a, a hot read instead of a cold. So as you can see, you know, full heat. It's lower, bro. Huh? It's a little lower, yeah. But your bike's also um, not upright, so once you put your bike upright, it should fill up a little higher. That's why. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to do that, Jerry. What's your pain? What's your pain, man? What's your pain? That's what Jerry would have done right now. Jerry. Wipe it off, put it in, wipe it off and put it in. Okay, so. Yep, you're right at the full mark, it's perfect. So it's full right there? Yep. So should we put more oil in or just leave it like that? No, I'll leave it, I'll let it run for about a week and then check it again. You're All good right. right now. So basically four and a half quarts is what we put in. My camera, I am on camera. Cause it's my show. Right. So, pretty easy. Uh, thanks, man. I know how to change my oil now. Now, obviously, we, we gotta change the primary fluid and then the primary fluid, right? And you should do everything all at once before people butcher us. Yeah. I mean, this is your uh, supposed first case service. Yeah. Which usually, it's the primary trans and the oil. We forgot the trans and the oil fluid, so we yeah. just did your oil for today. Um, but in a few days, we'll, we'll, we'll come back and we'll, we'll redo that. Um, that's it. Yeah, this is supposed to be my my first K uh, service, but I honestly I wanted to do I wanted to do this myself. I'm still gonna take it in, but that that's to just let them check everything else, the internals, and make sure you know the belt is tight and everything. And um, what else do they check on that? They do uh, they check out the belt. They do a uh, clutch and brake adjustment, and they uh, they just do a full bike inspection to make sure everything is uh, ready to go. Yeah, man, I learned something new today. This is what I've been wanting to do. I want to get more hands on with my bikes and learn how to do everything myself. Because next stop is for us to just buy a frame and build our bike from the bottom up. That would be interesting. <laughs> and it's fairly easy, honestly. You know, I've done a couple oil changes. I'm not a Harley Tech. I'm not a, your typical mechanic. You know, it's really not hard. You just got to get your nerves out of the way and just do it. It's, it's really that simple. Yeah, my dude, thanks. Anytime, bro. I learned something new. My mom will be so proud of me. All right, guys, like always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. My boy Penis right here, you'll be seeing a lot more of him. Um, he has a ST, by the way, so he's working on his ST right now. He has a bunch of stuff that he's ordered for that bike. He's also still waiting for a wheel. Yeah, guys, please don't bend your rims right now. We'll talk about that at another time, though. That, yeah, that's another video, uh, but yeah. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Another beer, peer pressure. Take a milk. Peer pressure, peer pressure. Look at you, you're getting blood all over my rug. Eminem? <laughs> no? So, you know, I know. The, um... Hey, man, it's showtime. I wasn't prepared. But... Whoa. That is slippery. That's what she said. Ha!